see Chris flying the Cessna 172 fixed pitch propeller with the Cessna yoke and vernier throttles. Uh, this system is rapidly convertible to a Diamond or Cirrus style aircraft and we'll show you that. Uh, this is the universal touch trainer. You can see it comes with adjustable height legs. It's on table. It's removable visual system which is an option on all of our touch trainers. The touch trainer base which hides all the wiring and ensures that uh, the system is robust. Two touch screens and three visual screens, giving a 100 degrees field of view via 35 degrees vertical field. Just flying over a local town here, and you can see the amount of detail uh, roads, railways, rivers, buildings, cars, uh, trucks, and trains are all in the scene. Uh, the system's running at 60 hertz, and all this comes as a turnkey system. In this particular case, flying the Cessna 172 uh, fixed pitch prop. Looking at the uh, visual scene here, as we come round to the left, uh, this is the town of Monterey, you'll notice that we still maintain 60 hertz, even though the cultural density is really high. Uh, you won't see anything like this outside of military flight simulators, and certainly not on a level D simulator. Uh, automobiles, trucks, power lines, uh, all the roads, Freeways, railways are all geo-specific. Uh, you can navigate VFR charts. Notice that the touch trainer comes complete with rudder pebbles, which is an FAA requirement. Everything is here, ready for you to just start flying. This is the FTS Red computer with the two graphics cards, driving the visual system and the instrumentation. Uh, eight gigabytes of memory and plenty of power uh, for the future. Previously we were flying the Cessna, now we're going to show you how easily you can transition this, this uh, simulator over from a Cessna to a Cirrus or a Diamond. Cirrus and Diamond have the same controls. So uh, the joystick just fits down into this slot right here. You have to first connect the USB right at that location and then you just um, Slide the joystick into the slot and then rotate these little clips and then thread them in like that. Get with the other side and then thread it in a couple of turns like that. So now we have a secure joystick that's already been plugged into the computer through that little okay, USB so connection. Uh, here I have the, the throttle quadrant that we want to attach. Um, the Cessna throttle quadrant is still attached to the simulator. So to remove the Cessna throttle quadrant, you just um, loosen the two Allen screws with your hand. Uh, then you just raise up this plate and hand tighten it again so it's out of the way. Slide the throttle out and then disconnect the USB from the back. Once the Cessna throttle has been removed, Take the, the other type of throttle that you'd like to attach and position it so it kind of rests on top of that piece of metal. Attach the two screws to that. And there's little threaded inserts in there for you to get that in. And we're just going to do a little and tighten with this Allen screw or Allen wrench and then down below here we just reattach the USB using the same um, connector point. Now as you can see um, the simulator has already detected the new controls and we have independent throttle uh, prop and mixture. Now if you're flying the Cessna right here what you see is the diamond, and if you're flying the, um, the Cirrus aircraft, all you need to do is remove the two leftmost hardware controls and attach it with the single control 
which is how, the, um, because the Cirrus doesn't have a separate prop control, now it can be used um, for the Cirrus aircraft. So you have the joystick and the throttle, which has now been attached for Cirrus and Diamond aircraft. Now that we've finished assembling the touch trainer, we are ready to fly. Thank you.